Opening in theaters this week from Sony Pictures is the action-adventure Uncharted, and here's my review. Since the Uncharted video games first debuted, they've been praised for being cinematic and capturing the feel of adventure movies. It makes sense that the games would eventually be adapted into a film, although it would take over a decade and several directors trying to put that spin on it before cameras rolled. Under the direction of Ruben Fleischer, the Uncharted movie becomes a fairly standard action-adventure, with enough globe-trotting and big set-pieces to keep one interested. The film does exactly what it says on the tin, and that's sometimes all you want from light-hearted blockbuster entertainment. As the main hero, Nathan Drake, Tom Holland does suitably enough in betraying someone with a thirst for adventure. Drake may not have the most fleshed-out personality, but there is a rooty interest in seeing him succeed in his plans and find the treasure he's looking for. A good amount of his screen time is spent trading banter with Mark Wahlberg's Victor Selvin. Wahlberg does not stretch his acting skills, and not every joke lands, but the film does an okay job of showing their unusual partnership. Uncharted does call to mind the Indiana Jones series and the Da Vinci Code, so they search for a treasure, but those did not exactly have original stories either. It's all about the execution, and Uncharted handles it well enough. Antonio Banderas serves as the main villain, although he largely proves an uninteresting threat for the heroes. He's the usual glory and money-seeking antagonist who occasionally pops up to appear menacing, but never quite comes across that way. The appeal of any adventure film of this sort is the world-hopping, and there's quite a bit of that in Uncharted, as Drake and Sully make their way through different locales. Fleischer keeps the plot moving at a decent pace, and knows exactly when to play the various action beats. The filmmakers attempt an emotional layer too, but it mostly exists to get characters certain places when need be. The strength of the film does lie with the action sequences, of which there are plenty. As someone who has not played the video games, it's unknown how well it replicates the experience of playing them, but they do bring an element of fun. One of the highlights involves Drake falling out of an airplane, which is shown in the opening sequence, and then they come back to it later on. The filmmakers, Tom Holland, and the stunt team also turned the fight and chase sequences into an opportunity to show off some impressive moves that display Drake's skills. Any in-jokes and references will fly over someone's head if they're unfamiliar with the source material, though. Overall, Uncharted does the job that it sets out to do, which is to give audiences a simple and daring adventure. This is not a script that rewrites the rulebook, nor is it a movie with much on the mind beyond exciting the audience. However, there's nothing wrong with making a straightforward action-adventure. Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg work well off each other, and it's not a bad jumping off point for a potential franchise. The studios and filmmakers are certainly confident it will, as they include a few credit scenes that hint at more escapades with Nathan Drake. Sequel hooks for the first film in the series is always a risk, but hopefully it pays off for Uncharted.